I cannot believe that we need to talk about this. I can't believe that this isn't a, a universally known fact that this album bumps out of control. I got a short with me. I got my monkey with me. I'm gonna talk about this record. All right, so the moment I heard the song 24 Carry Magic, I freaked out and I had to FaceTime Goose. I, it bumps out of control. JP, I want you to play the visual in Breaking Bad when Tuco is hitting, is hitting the, 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 the blue stuff. And he just, he's just like crazy because that's what this album is. That's what this album is. It immediately punches you in the face with 24 Karat Magic, this lush 80s crazy just just oh my god it sounds like what it's it's like eternally what i i thought uh studio 52 would sound like is it is it 52 or 54 54 studio 54 so studio, studio studio 54 would sound like like eternally like it's just like the song that's playing as soon as you walk in everyone's got perms on everyone it's just there's ringlets everywhere just it's crazy Dudes just like chicks dancing better than they are. This song is amazingly luxurious. 24 karat slap 10 out of 10. Actually, uh, spoiler alert, every song is a 10 out of 10. If you're looking for the review, it's all 10 slaps. So <laughs> it's 10 out of 10 slaps on this record. Um, right after that's Chunky. Uh, it's, it's great. This is going to be a shitty review because I love everything. So Chunky is very cool. Great vibe. Very upbeat. Makes the big girls feel love. Chunky. Coming right after that. Such a sweet, amazing song. Like Bruno knows the ins and outs of songwriting. He plays basically every instrument. He's multifaceted, multi-talented, and he's so able to recontextualize everything that we loved about those classic 80s songs and give it a modern twist. Basically letting everybody know that the boys can the, the boy can do a James Brown if he wants to. Just if he wants to, just out of the hat. Just pick it out of the hat. You want you want James Brown? Here you go. That's what it is. That's what it is. It's just letting you show letting let, letting him show you ev like the broad range of of an entertainer and a performer that he is outside of being already a masterful musician and songwriter. Like it's it's insane what is packed into the, into this Hawaiian man. It's it's just insane. It's 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 crazy. How about like wow. Perm would be the only track that I am not the most fond of, but I could objectively recognize it. And another 10 out of 10 slap because that shit slaps. Only because I don't love it, it's not my go-to. Doesn't mean it don't slap. Uh, I know what's next. Uh, that's what I like. Which, if you can't tell me that that song isn't isn't scientifically and gene gen genetically made for pop radio, I don't even know who you are. It's, it, that is a behemoth of masterful songwriting. Like everything. That turnaround is so stupid. Oh. It's just it's a masterclass. That's what these nine songs are. So like if you're if you're this deep in and you're thinking, oh maybe he's gonna hate track five. That am I gonna hate track five? Track five it was it was it was leaked as well, right? It came out before the album. And everywhere around the world, this strange phenomenon was happening where a whole bunch of women's bras were just pop. Like how does he make such a perfect song? JP, tell me. Da! He's 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 a monster. He's a monster. And if you do not agree, you gotta listen to these nine songs this is the third it's it's the most fulfilling 33 minutes you ever have in your life okay that's including your sex life let's talk about our demi doggos here at demigod collective we care heavily about our doggos so if you say you love dogs then you should go the extra mile and buy a shirt to support the dogs of demigod collective aka demi doggos 100 percent of every purchase of demigod collective shirts for eternity will go to one of these demi doggos thank you um, slapper. Every song slaps. Uh, Bruno Mars, that bridge, however long it took, it was worth every second player. If I even, I, I've been looking it up on every instrument. It is hard to play on all of them. Piano, guitar, bass, vocally. You, you take us to a roller coaster of emotions through a 20 second segment. And I fucking thank you. So crucial. Um, God must have spent a little more time on you. That you get into Versace on the floor. How do you do this to people? And what was my life before that drop? I don't remember it. 
after hearing that Versace, and then it drop, it just like it just starts raining gold on me in our old studio. It just starts raining gold. Uh, after that is uh, straight up and down, straight up and down. Another great. It just it's it's just such a sweet pop tune for the dirty, dirty, dirty. So clever. Damn you, Bruno Mars. Damn you. Uh, again, another slapper. Oh, Versace on the floor. Also slapper, slapper, slapper. Then we get to my favorite song, absolutely of the album, "Calling All My Lovelies." And then, oh my God. In the first nanoseconds of this song, it was playing when you put when you roll down the window of your 70s box Chevy. As soon as you roll it down, you just hear this is it is a funk sex masterpiece that you can't understand. Let me tell you why you're here. You're here because you know something. Something that you feel, but you can't explain. When you see a brand new demigod tea, it gets to the core of you. And you always wonder why. The decision really is just, which one? All my lovelies. When I heard this song the first time, by the third second of the song, I knew it was gonna be my favorite. It's the only song, and out of all the music I've heard in my life, it is the only song where I heard the the first moments of it. I'm like, yeah, that's gonna be the best one. And think about the audacity that it takes when I've heard every. We're on track seven or eight, seven. Every song has been a 10 out of 10. And for some reason, I would be like, this is going to be better than all of them until this fucking day it is. That song hits me hard on, on every feel, just the vocal, uh, the who the lovely is. Ah, it's just perfect. I, I just can't. That's a that's the best one out of all of them. If you disagree, you can fight me because it's not true. Move on to finesse. Super dancing pop tune. Amazing. Thank you, Bruno. Uh, finesse after that, like people just remember that Cardi B remix now. So still slaps. <laughs> that one slaps so hard. It's gonna be in the still slap menu. Track nine. Too good to say goodbye. It is too good to say goodbye to this album. It is too good, and it hurt me when you left. Thank you, Bruno. Like just those lyrics, the bass work. I feel the desperation in his vocals. I just love that track. I think it's fantastic. This record now is in my top five. It's cemented there. All nine songs are great. They're all 10 out of 10s. Give it a chance if you haven't. It was my record of the year that year. This shit slaps. 10 out of 10 slappers. Joda, almost out. Forgot to say thank you to the monkey. Thank you, Bruno. We're just, we're not worthy, man. We did we deserve nine songs? We didn't even deserve like probably five. God must despair. What's that on you? Dude, what are you wearing? What do you mean, bro? We're going to this show, dude. We're going to the Demi God show. What is that? What Tommy Bahama? Dude, but I get. All right, man, fix me, man. Oh my God. Dude, what the? No, man. How's it look, dude? Fuck it, whatever, let's go, dude.